Hello and welcome to one and all. In today's class, we will move on to the short answer questions from the last unit that is from unit 10 basic statistics for economics. So in this unit, the very frequently asked question is what is the relationship between statistics and economics? So this is SAQ 42. What is statistics and explain its relationship with economics? Okay. So now at the introduction and so the word statistics has been derived from latin word status and italian word statista meaning a political state or government okay so in the early days statistics was called a science of kings as it was considered to be a science used for fulfilling the needs of state administration see in the centuries ago what happened was the kings the early olden days and all the kings were ruling the country isn't it so during those period of time the kings needed certain information regarding the land agriculture regarding the population and the military so all those informations were needed by the kings so for that some kind of statistical records have to be provided so that was the origin of the word statistics and for that matter even economics for a long period of time was associated with politics okay until adam smith uh, tried to separate economics from politics economics was also associated with politics in the same way similarly uh, statistics was also associated with politics so in olden days when the kings were needing certain kind of information the statistical data used to be collected and and being provided to the kings so that was the origin of the word statistics okay and that was the origin of the subject statistics also but nowadays, uh, as the country, uh, the economies uh, grew all over the world, the importance of statistics in the day-to-day -day economic decision making, in the business decision making, in the political decision making, in so many areas, the uh, importance of statistics have been increased enormously. Okay, and the word statistics is used in two distinct senses. One is singular, and another one is plural. Now, what is in singular sense? In singular sense, it refers to collection, classification, presentation, analysis and interpretation of data. Whereas in plural sense, it refers to numerical facts systematically collected, that is in simple words data. Okay. So now for example, you take uh, economics, let us uh, take the determinants of demand or the demand schedule. So now what is the, term, the determinants of demand? What does the law of demand say? The law of demand says there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. And what are all the various determinants of demand? You know there are several determinants of demand, isn't it? Starting from price, income, prices of related commodities, taste and preferences of the consumers, etc. Isn't it? There are so many determinants of demand. And each and every one of these determinants is having a certain kind of relationship between the relationship with the quantity demanded so now how do we arrive at the conclusion see for example law of demand the conclusion is that there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded and if you take the income demand the demand for superior goods will is positive and the demand for inferior goods is real, uh, negative so like that we are finding a conclusion so how do we arrive at that conclusion how do we arrive at that kind of verdict how the laws were framed in economics see this is unless the, the facts are collected so first thing is we have to collect the various facts isn't it what what is the first thing we have to do in order to know what is the relationship between price and quantity demanded first of all we have to know that the what are all the factors that are affecting the demand for a commodity so we are collecting all those uh, data so all those factors which affect the demand for the commodities all those things are collected and then we are classifying so how do we classify this is the relation with the price and quantity price is affecting the demand in so and so way income is affecting the demand for a commodity in so and so way technology is affecting the demand for a commodity in so and so way like that we are classifying and then we are presenting it how we are presenting it either we are presenting it in the form of a table that is a schedule or we are presenting it in the form of a diagram the diagrammatical representation after that what we are doing analyzing and interpreting so we are analyzing the table we are analyzing the diagram 
okay so we are analyzing and interpreting that there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded there is a direct relationship between income of a consumer and the superior the demand for superior goods so final interpretation final verdict is being uh, given after analyzing whatever the data which have been presented so this is what uh, the statistics in singular sense and plural sense numerical facts systematically collected or in other words it is a data so everything is a numerical terms isn't it so we should know, you know the price of the commodity is expressed in numerical terms the demand for the commodity is expressed in numerical terms the income of the consumer is expressed in numerical terms the savings of the country is expressed in numerical terms the national income the gdp of the country is expressed in numerical terms the growth rate of population in a country is expressed in numerical terms the contribution made by different sectors are expressed in numerical terms so all these numerical terms which are arranged properly systematically collected and arranged that is the statistics in plural sense okay and there is a definition given according to crockston and cowden statistics may be defined as the collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data and according to another economist or a fisher the science of statistics is essentially a branch of applied mathematics and may, may be regarded as mathematics applied to observational data so all the calculations which related to the mathematical analysis so statistics is in a way it is an applied mathematics because the the statistics applied mathematics be using the mathematical knowledge the statistics it is being uh, applied to different different subjects okay so the statistics is useful in economics statistics is useful in uh, applied in business statistics is useful in uh, po politics okay in so many areas this applied mathematics that is statistics is being used okay now what is the second part of the question what is the relationship between statistics and economics okay so economics developed close association with statistics from 19th century onwards with the publication of sir william petty's political arithmetic in 1690 so sir william petty he published a book known as the political arithmetic so the same thing what the uh, what are all the statistical information re required by the government okay so that is the political arithmetic but the later on the relationship between economics and statistics was developed more by eminent economists like j.s mill marshall jeevans and kins so the further the relationship between statistics and economics were developed by all these other economists okay now statistics is very useful in solving several economic problems by providing empirical evidence so empirical evidence means practically observing practically observing okay what is the change in quantity demanded and what is the change in price so this is the way the price of the commodity changed and this is the way the uh, demand for this particular commodity changed in the last uh, couple of months the last couple of years this is the way the price of the commodity changed and this is the way the supply of the commodity changed so this is the way the per capita income of the country changed because of the uh, rise or fall in the population of the country in the last couple of years and one thing you have to understand is statistics is always checking about the past events see if you know probability so probability is what if you know if you are understanding if you know about the probability theory so it is at how many what are the, what is the probability of having getting a odd numbers in when you throw your dice so it it is uh, related to the future events future this is this is what is going to happen probably this will like this is likely to happen that is probability theory on the other hand statistics is always checking about the past events the producer the seller checks the past sales according to the changes in prices okay and then he determines whether he has to increase or decrease the price so all the all these empirical evidence is provided by statistics uh, statistical analysis by checking the past events okay so if you have what happened in the pre previous day so if you are presenting it in a proper data that is what is known as the empirical evidence okay for example it is not possible to analyze the nature of many common economic problems like poverty unemployment inflation etc without the help of statistics the knowledge of statistics helps in proper understanding of these economic problems and formulation of several or appropriate economic policies 
because if the government is providing the solution the pro government is providing the uh, welfare uh, schemes to the poorer sections of the population the government is providing several schemes to control the unemployment to reduce the poverty in the country the government should know what the exact statistical information should be available with the government because poverty is not something universal i mean everybody is not facing the same kind of poverty one person is extremely poor another person is just relatively poor there are so many types of poverty there there are so many types of unemployment is there so the, it is not possible for the government to provide an unanimous single solution to all the sections of uh, all the poorer sections of the population even the educated person is also facing the unemployment uneducated person is also facing the unemployment so it is uh, it, it is not possible for the government to provide one single solution so the government needs the empirical evidence the government needs the statistical information regarding the nature of poverty regarding the nature of unemployment regarding the nature of uh, in inflation what what is the extent of rise in prices over the last couple of years to what extent the prices have risen so all this information should be presented uh, properly statistically then only the government can understand the problem and provide appropriate solutions by framing the proper policies okay then the knowledge uh, the statistical presentation in the form of bar diagrams pie charts time series analysis linear regression and correlation etc helps in decision making in business and also to know about the economic structure of a country so all these are the statistical tools presenting the data in the form of bar diagrams so with the help of bar diagrams so many information we can get so what is the contribution made by public sector and private sector what is the exports and imports of the country and like that so many information can be got through the bar diagrams pie charts so what is the uh, uh, contribution made by the different uh, sectors of the country primary sector secondary sector and the tertiary sector and like the time series analysis what is the uh, trends in the growth rate of national income what are the what is the trend in the growth rate of per capita income what is the trend in the growth rate of population like linear regression in correlation so, so all these are the statistical tools that helps in decision making in business and also to know about the economic structure of a country okay then it also plays a vital role in understanding the economic data in the areas of production consumption and distribution it helps to understand the nature of relationship between different economic variables such as price and demand price and supply consumption and income so all these so the law of demand law of supply law of variable proportions law of returns to scale so all these are the relationship between uh, two vari two economic variables so this relationship between two economic variables in production consumption distribution everything is being arrived by get, uh, after knowing the statistical information after getting the statistical information after having the statistical data it is it was possible it is becoming possible to find out the relationship between two economic variables in the areas of production consumption distribution exchange etc okay statistics is now being used increasingly to develop new economic concepts and also to test the old ones because as the eco economy worldwide it is progressing there are so, so many new problems are uh, evolving in the countries and so statistics is providing the proper uh, assistance to pro to give all suggestions or solutions to all those new economic problems and also to to test the old economic problems and the increasing use of statistics in economics has resulted in the rise of new branch of economics called econometrics the mathematical economics because nowadays more and more mathematical analysis the numerical facts are needed in the economic analysis in solving the economic problems so that uh, required a separate branch of study known as the mathematical economics so that mathematical economics is known as the econometrics okay so now these are all the uh, relationship or the importance of statistics in economics okay so uh, hope you have, the concept is clear hope you have understood the answer i repeat this is a very frequently asked question in the board exam okay so if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay so until my next class take care bye bye